We are speed. Crap, just turned it off. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? DJ, come here up here. We are trying to get up here because the bunker is basically full. And I've decided that this is the heaviest thing that we can get, including a Big Buds. I want to get this up here. Come on, you can do it. Yes. This is what I want to get up here. And we are going to get our circle on 16%. 17%. Oh, this is going to make... Oh, yeah, let's not do that again. So this is the fastest way that I can think to get this done without having to go and get something massively crazy or anything like that. Uh, this seems to be doing a very good job, and the grass on the back is extremely heavy. I mean, have we got 59,000 liters of grass. So what I'm doing is I'm just gunning it and turning Oh, sometimes that happens. Yeah, that's that's not good. We need to we need to figure out how to how to get out of this one. Um, yeah, guess we're just going this way. I have tried to fill in a few extra spots, but it does seem that the extra just stuff hanging around it ain't gonna work. So we're gonna come around and we are gonna get our circle driving on. I think best thing to do. Wow, I can't turn. I can't turn left fast enough. Let's set this to, it seemed to be like like 15 miles an hour was as fast as fast needed to be. Oh man, I could turn left, but I can't turn, uh, or I could turn right, but I can't turn left and make it. That's weird. That's really weird. All right, anyway, so let's keep this going because it's working quickly. Let's keep moving and grooving and let's get it all sorted. We are not far from this being completely finished. This has been an awesome way to do this. Now, I've, I've been messing around and had a few things that I've done between, but I highly recommend if you've got a truck and a trailer like this and you are able to get in your silage bunker and do this, look at that, 100%. Where's the best way for us to drive off? Right there. We want to do this as fast as we can so we don't get stuck. Because we could easily get stuck up here. Let's see. Fly off. Boom, baby. Yeah. 3.2 million liters. So 3,206,730 liters. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's, uh... Let's cover this. Wow, that got bright real fast. Okay, so we do have some hanging off here. It uh, looks like this is the cutoff line, so don't go much past this, because it won't matter. Oh, that's awesome. We got a whole lot of, what is that? What are you? <laughs> We've got a whole lot of silage that we're about to have. Now, the great thing is, fermentation is super fast on here. It is very, very fast. So that's not gonna take crazy long to get done, to be completely honest. One thing that we will need to do is we will need to come around and clean up around the edges. So let's take this, let's drop this off, let's grab our telehandler, and let's get this place straightened up. Now I'm not sure if this is gonna register as grass or chaff, because we were putting grass in there when this happened. Chaff, okay. It recognizes it as chaff. Interesting. So because we were up there and because we were dumping off the side, even though it was grass. Get out of here, birds. That's mine. Get. Interesting. So it turned into chaff. All right. All right. Well, a thing that we learned today. So let's put chaff back in here. We won't be doing corn for a little while. That's for sure. On to the next. Here we are on uh, <laughs> this field. <laughs> we're working to get all of these poplars planted and I've tried I've tried so hard to get it done right because the workers do a really really good job and I'm just trying to get it done I want to get it completely finished up but I want this entire field done most of the time people will come through doing poplars and they will do just some of the field they won't do the whole thing and they'll, you know, they'll let the worker do its thing and they'll go up and down, do a couple rows and the worker will come back through and, and do a really good job getting the rows as well. But with Farming Simulator 19, 
we don't have to worry about that like we did in 17. We can actually come through. We could do the whole thing. Now, you will have to hire a worker usually three times. Uh, if you can get it lined up just right, you can get it done in two. I have yet to be able to do that. So here we are just hitting some extra spots that have been missed by the workers. I found if we start in the middle of the field, it puts down some weird like plowed state area. So I'm just aiming, get it nice, straightened up, hire worker, hopefully that it hits this section right here at the front. And it's missed a bit, but that's okay. We'll still come through and do that all ourselves. Again, worker is buying everything needed. So we're good. Let's finish this up. This is Clutch's field, by the way. This field has nothing to do with me. Just a few more areas to hit. We've hit most of them. There we go. And usually, yeah, the workers just say and they're, they're completed their task, as it were. Again, I want to hit as many of these places as we can. Now, unfortunately, because we're starting midfield, there's a lot of these little dots around. But I would rather have a few dots than all these lines. These lines are no good for us. I think, other than just these few little ones right here and over there and that kind of thing, we are pretty darn good. And the great thing is that the worker is recognizing them as well. Perfect. Is he going to do it? Eh? Yeah. So that's done. Let's hit this main slip right here. And then I'm going to hit that main slip in the middle. And then we will be completely finished with this field, barring a few little bits here and there. But I'm happy. I am very, very happy. There's that. That is good. That is done. And let's bring this right here. Come on. Come on. Set that worker. Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it for us? Yep. Yes, it is. So let's boom out. Double check. Yes, see, there are still little blotches and spots around. And, and we've just created another spot in the middle right there. But again, I'm much happier with the way this field has turned out. Very, very good. Very, very good. It's tough stuff right here. Tough stuff indeed. Well, let's get this dropped off. I don't think we need this pallet anymore. I think we can sell these pallets, not for a whole lot of money, to be honest with you, but we could sell them for some, eh, a little bit, not a whole lot, but it adds a little bit. So we're going to take this while we're on our way, drop it off and uh, get rid of this thing. Finally. All right, here we go. We are at the garden center. We're going to bring this over and unload it if we can. Let's see. It's not wanting to unload, so I guess we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. So let's drop that. Let's go in here. Two garage. Oh, that's right. I bought it. Oh, I do not want to keep it. Where is it? There it is. 18 grand. Goodbye. Yep. So we have this now. This is going to be easy to get rid of. We're going to take it. We're just going to push it in here. It should sell it. Now... I think that the pallet is going to hang around. Yeah, see that? That's a thing right there. The pallet does hang around. Uh, but the great thing is we can pick the pallet up, move it around, all that good stuff. For us, we're simply just going to put it right there, out of the way, where it doesn't need to be anywhere. Perfect. So we made a couple hundred bucks off of that, a couple thousand dollars off of the planter that I accidentally bought. Oops. So we're good right now. We're good with all that. What do we need? So we've got silage. The animals are good. Um, oh, I, I know exactly what we need to do. Let's take a look here. How are our fields? Growing, growing, growing. I think it's about time that we pick up one of the cotton harvesters so that we can get in and get a bunch of cotton. Now, Let's get in here and let's get some of this cotton up. Now, I don't think this has been fertilized at all. Let's go ahead and unfold this. So I'm just gonna kind of roll through here. I'm not gonna do this, uh, I think perfect is the word to use. We're not gonna go through here perfect. I'm just gonna get the cotton up. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get the cotton up. I would like to get a few bales. I don't know how many bales we're going to be able to get off of all this. Uh, we have, let's see, four fields technically of cotton. 
how do we have four fields? Well, I bought field 30. If you guys remember, we did a silage harvest not long ago. And on field 30 is where we did the corn. Because corn was already there. I was like, you know what? Let's just go and take it. And there's cotton on it now. So I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and take that. And I mentioned before, I said, I didn't think it was worth it. But here's the thing. We're going to take that field and we are going to sell it back for the same amount that we bought it for. So, why would we not? It's perfect. <laughs> it's the perfect crime. Oh, yeah. There we go. I think that's enough of a headland. And we'll head back down just to try and get a little bit more. But this, this is not going to be a quick thing. This is going to take us a hot minute to get all of this together. But I'm okay with it. Because cotton sells for a lot. Let's hire a worker real quick. I just want to show you, for example, cotton. Where are we looking at? Let's see, that's spinnery. Is that cotton or is that wool? That's wool. There we go. Cotton. 2.8 grand per thousand liters. The modules are 20,000 liters each. I'll let you do the math there because you guys don't like me doing math. <laughs> what? No, you can't just forget that last little bit. Come on. Ah, oh, dumb worker. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, well. Workers are going to be dumb. Workers will be dumb. Let's keep moving. Keep rocking. We can do this. This might be the first field of cotton that I've done by myself. Look at that. Yeah. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's see. Will it let us fold the machine? Yes, it will, because we barely have 10% in there, just right over. So that's good. We're going to be moving over now to the field behind our sheep. Boom, boom, boom. Thing around here. Again, another field that we're going to have to do by ourselves. Now, these larger fields, I'm going to be hitting ends, and then I'm just going to send a worker and let them go. Another thing that I'm thinking is, how are we going to get these cotton bells up? Because we don't have cotton uh, transports. I've got an idea. Uh, there's a new trailer that's out, and I want to buy it anyway. And so what I've thought is, well, we've got a lot of money. Why don't we wait? Hold up. Where'd all our money go? I leased it. Yeah. Yeah, I did lease it. We had like 200 some grand. Items. What did I buy? What happened? Oh, I bought a field. We're good. <laughs> I bought a field. No, we're, we're okay. We're okay. I'm just an idiot. That's all. So here is y'all's cotton field, the one that you guys made me plant during the live stream not long ago. There we go. It is up and it is working. This, now this is going to give us a lot. See, this field here was not fertilized. This is plowed, fertilized, everything, all states are good. This is all the way to the top, baby. All the way to the top. One idea I've got, since we have these fields now, what I'm thinking is cutting all of the, uh, the fencing around here and down there and leaving the fencing going up and going in and making this one big grass field. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I am uh, pretty, pretty interested in doing that. Also, so you may know that there are six rows that this will pick up. However, we're picking up seven rows right now. So what I did is I kind of centered it in between the outside two rows. And you're getting it done a little bit faster. Uh, roughly, uh, it was about 16, 17% faster doing it that way. So if you're interested, I highly recommend doing it that way. Uh, you'll just get a little bit more. And the easy way to do that is to try and line up. Now, you may miss a bit here and there, and that's okay. But let's see. We got that. I found the easiest way to do it is to go in and then line up the center of the seven rows with your steering wheel. Easiest way to do it, and you pick it up pretty much every single time. Not too shabby. Actually, it's not picking up anything on that seventh row, is it? Darn it. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Let's finish this up. So while we are waiting, what we are going to do is... I've been told that the sweet spot 
is right. Let's turn that on right when it starts to mow the grass facing up. So we're trying to find that sweet spot, which I think we have. And I've been told that this, see, but it's not. It's not the sweet spot. I can't remember who told me that, but it's wrong. It's dead wrong. Oh, yeah, boy, oh, boy. Let's get this thing chopped up. So we tried. We've tried and we've tried and we've tried. But unfortunately, the, uh, the thing that we were told was wrong. And that's stinky. It's okay. So we're going to go back to the way we had it. So tilt it up all the way. And let's see. Do we go and get this one? I think we go ahead and get the one right in front of us. If we can get... There we go. So that's chopped down. And what we're going to do, again, it's tilted up. We could just continue driving straight forward and be totally fine. We are going to cut up all of these fields. Here we go. So there will be no boundaries between any of these let me buy there will be no boundary between any of these fields anymore and eventually we're going to come through and we're going to plow all this up now this is going to include doing everything from hedges to fences in between all of this again i want a big field one field over here that we can have a little bit of fun doing i know i know they're all squared off and I like square fields, but I tend not to do a lot of uh, field work when we have square fields because it's so easy. Just send a worker, let the worker do everything. And and I know you guys don't want me to do that. You want some actual farming. So with that being understood, let's finish this. We're going to come through. We're going to take about, I think uh, for now, just the two fences coming through here. And then we're going to go through. There we go. Oh, that was attached to that fence. Very cool. Very cool. We're going to do all this. We'll see you guys in a second. I've already purchased something. Actually, I've purchased two things to help us out getting cotton bales loaded. So here's something I'm finding out. So it, like, it hits three different layers. But if you just go super slow, somebody said set it like one mile an hour. Was that right? Let's set this all the way down to zero. Perfect. There we go. I can't set it to, uh, there we go. And that's working. Now it's dreadfully slow in between. And I think we can control this a little bit better. Do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, it's working. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. I'm so excited. So we don't have to go through a second or third time anyway. We can do it all right here right away that's so cool all right let's go get the cotton here we go this is what it's all about right here this is the biggest thing that this manitou has ever picked up we don't have a full bale but we will be unloading the unfinished bale that's right we got one i picked it up the american bandit let's go baby there it is american bandit the do 24 oh i love it i love it let's jump in here we should have some bell forks here, which we do. So we are going to make this thing pick up and hold and maintain a bale. Now, will it? That's going to be the uh, question here. Let's see. Unload unfinished bale. Right there. Top out. Let's get a good look at this. Oh, man. That whole bale is going to go right on there. We're going to have to go sell this thing. Do we get it? We've got it. About halfway in the middle. Yeah, about right there. This is going to be something else. Again, this is huge. 15,000. Oh, man. Oh, it's picking it up. The front's going down. Oh, this is heavy. This is a whole lot of weight. We got to make sure this is good on here. About right there, I think. That ought to do. Just drop it down. That's a lot of weight. Oh, come on. Just get off the bell freaking forks. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. That's good. Let's jump in this guy right here. Let's turn that off. Now, I don't believe... Yeah, I didn't think that those would go over that bell. 
because this is not the way you're supposed to transport these bells. But regardless, I think it's either A, on there, or B, too heavy to fall off. <laughs> oh, either way, I love it. I love it a whole lot. Let's get this sold. Actually, what's our pricing right now? 2800 bucks, the same as it was at the beginning of the video. Let's get this guy sold. I want to make some money. Rolling in. How much money are we going to get off of this one bill? We're going to get a whole lot, I can tell you that much. I know for a fact. Oh, can we, can we make this work? Just give me enough money to buy a truck. Oh, it's gone. 44,323. That was immediate. We made a whole lot of money off that 44 grand. Yo, can we get a truck? 44, 45, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. Design color, keeping that chrome, wheels looking chrome, looking good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go with a black truck. Ooh, I love the black color. Let's go ahead and buy that and let's run over and pick it up. It is ours now. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Hope this has been fun. This is, an, this is a very fun series. I am enjoying myself thoroughly playing this. Alien Jim, you knocked it out of the park, bro. You knocked it out of the park. That being said, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.